Here's something you might want to think about. See how fast that water's coming out of there? You're wasting water. That's way too much water. You don't need that much water to wash your hands. And I know you could turn this on, you know, real easy and wash them that way, but come on. How many people really do that? And you can't monitor that. It's so easy just to turn it on and, and, it's, and it's going. But, you know, if you're in a water meter or if you just have this thing about wasting water, here's what you can do. I went to the store and I got a different aerator. That's what these are called. Now, if you don't know what the size aerator is, you can take this one off. You can take that down to the store. You can get a different one. Now, this one here, it's got a little stamp on here. It says 1.0 GPM aerator. That means one gallon per minute that comes out of here. Now, this one here is probably two and a half, three gallons per minute. Why do all that? You know, I'm going to take, I'm going to get this one ready to put on. I'll show you how it's done in a minute. Jeez, the hardest part to this project, believe it or not, is to get the, the tape residue off of here from their tape that went around there. I don't know why they did that. Okay. This one's ready to go. Now, on this one here, I'm going to undo it with a pair of pliers. And hopefully yours isn't very hard to do. You can, you can do it with a pair of pliers. Sometimes there's two little notches here. You can take it. A, a crescent wrench put on there and turn it. I'm not too concerned about this one because I'm not going to use this anymore. But, you know, if it's really super tight on there, you can put a rag around there or something. This one's not very tight, okay? So I just grab it tight and turn it a little bit, then I can unscrew it. Okay, I guess I could always save this in a pinch if, if the other one breaks or, or the screen comes off it someday or something like that, okay? Now, once you once you pull that off, you want to, sometimes this rubber fits and sticks up in here. You want to fill up in here. Make sure there's no rubber left in there, or else this one's not going to fit up in there, right? And I'm going to turn this on just to flush it out in case there's any little sediment in there. I don't want to get I don't want that to get caught in here. This hole in here is way smaller than this one. That's how you get it to only come out one gallon per minute, okay? I'm going to put that up in there. I'm just going to tighten it by hand and dry my hand off. I can get it maybe a little a little bit tighter, you know? I could put a, I could put this rag around there or I can just take my pliers. Now, I can just leave it hand tight if I want or I can grab this right here and just, you know, a sixteenth of a turn, hardly anything. You don't. Last thing you want is to try to get this really tight, and then this is going to gouge up on your nice chrome there. Okay. Finger tight might not be such a good idea if you got little kids around and they unscrew that. Hey, where's the aerator? You know what I mean? I just give it just a hair. Okay. Now, you remember how much water what came out of it before? Now watch. This is one gallon per minute. Okay. That's, that gives you that gives you adequate water. You know, you don't need any more than that. Plenty to wash your hands, and there it is. You're just saving some water, and especially if you're on a water meter, you know it's vital to do that. It doesn't take very long to do. Now, there's all kinds of aerators, aerator thread sizes, outside threads, inside threads, and different diameters. You gotta look at the store. The main thing, you gotta take your old aerator with you to the store so you match it up. And do they have any other ones besides one gallon per minute? If you don't think that's strong enough, but yet you don't want it as strong as the other, they got 1.5, maybe 1.75, two gallons different ones. You, you know, you come back here and get two or three from the store. They only cost, you know, four or five dollars for the entire thing. You can try one. If that's not good, try another one. Take the other ones back, whatever. And then you can do the rest of your faucets. You got 
three faucets at your house, you just knock down a lot off your water bill. Or for the environment, you know, why, why dump that nice clean water down the sink for no reason? That's all I got time for, but I'll be back with more.